Well, it looks like Owen's finally doing the repairs we need. The damn fool is falling over a drunk and still manages to make smithying look easy. Good enough, I say. I'll send one of my men to inform Bantigan the militia is ready for battle. We'll do our best. We'll fight until we can't fight anymore. However long that is. Morale's about what you'd expect. These men aren't soldiers. They're villagers defending their homes, and they're frightened. Since you convinced Owen to start repairs, we're pretty well armed now. That is a relief, let me tell you. We're better off now that we've sufficient arms. I don't know that we're ready for the battle, really, but were we ever? Is there anything else? You'll find him and his men at the mill by the bridge, to the north. Right. Let's hope we see morning. There are many great tales of lost kings who return to their lands to reign in glory. I am not lost, nor for that matter, a king. And there's nothing glorious about me. You are Merrick's son. You are the rightful king of Ferelden. I am the son of a starstruck maid and an indiscreet man who just happened to be king. <sighs> Look, I can't be king. Some days I have trouble figuring out which boot goes on which foot. Complete fools are made leaders of kingdoms all the time. And you're not a complete fool. What an utter relief. And don't worry about the boots. Kings don't need to dress themselves. That's what advisors are for, isn't it? And starstruck maids, apparently. Looking for little old me? Redcliffe? I know little of it except that it is the domain of the Isle of Redcliffe. Redcliffe? I wonder how the name came to be. Is the clay here red? There are places in this world where the clay is a bright, strange red, and often, in the legends of such places, it is the red of blood. The blood of a thousand men slaughtered in battle, or that of an innocent unjustly slain. It stains the land that it may never be forgotten. Perhaps Redcliffe has one such tale. But I do not know it. Wonderful. Intruders. I hope you have a good reason for breaking and entering into my home. You know what? In the interest of keeping my face from bursting into flame, I think I will. The name's Dwin. Pleased to meet you. Now, kindly tell me why you're here. Surviving. We have supplies to last for quite some time. And my boys and I can swing a weapon better than any of those fools out there. Why? 
When did this town ever rush to my rescue? So what? You recruiting for him? I'll tell you what I told Murdoch. I'm not risking my neck for this town. Maybe. Let's hear what you've got. And what good would that do me? The Arl's probably dead. I couldn't care less what Tegan thinks of me. What else you got? Are you serious? I won't even stick my head out my door for less than a hundred silvers. Do I look like an elf? I'm not that cheap. It's a hundred, or it's no deal. You're getting off easy there. But like you say, I guess this town needs a hero. You better be out there too when the sun goes down. I'm not fighting for a lost cause, you hear me? Just like you wanted. Yes? So, full of questions, are you? <laughs> You know, maybe this isn't the best time to be thinking about this, but I have something to ask you. Chances are we'll be heading to Denerim soon. And when we're there, I wonder if we might be able to look someone up. I'm not talking about a friend, exactly. And no, it's not that sort of friend either. The thing is, I have a sister, a half-sister. I told you about my mother, right? She was a servant at Redcliffe Castle and she had a daughter. Only, I never knew about her. I don't think she knew about me either. They kept my birth a secret after all. But, after I became a Grey Warden, I did some checking and... Well, I found out she's still alive. In Denaro. No. I thought about writing her, but I never did. And then we were called down to Ostagar, and I never got the chance. She's the only real family I have left. The only family not also mixed up in the whole royal thing. I've just been thinking that maybe it's time I went to see her. With the Blight coming and everything, I, I don't know if I'll ever get another chance to see her. Maybe I can help her. 
warn her about the danger, I don't know. Could we? I'd appreciate that. If something happened to her and I never went to at least see her, I don't know if I could forgive myself. Her name is Goldana, and I think she remarried but still lives just outside the alienage. If we're in the area, then, well, it's worth a look. Tell you to take me back to the Chantry? Don't make me go back there. I hate that place. I hate it. Everybody's scared. But they tell me I shouldn't be scared. And they tell me I shouldn't be sad that Mother died. I... I don't want to be sad. I'm brave. I'm going to be a hero. I'm going to fight them off. I will. No. No. I just heard you coming and I guess that's not very brave of me, is it? I'll... I'll come out now. All right. I came out. You won't hurt me. Will you? I'll go back to the Chantry if you really want. I just didn't want to be at the Chantry anymore. Everyone's scared, and I want to be brave. Yes, it was my mother's house. She's dead now. And Caitlin said we have to move away if we survive. I... I can't tell you. It's a secret. No. I won't tell you. And you can't make me. You can't. <laughs> 